Good morning. My name is Shweta, and my company is eWitness. This project started about two and a half years ago when I was visiting faculty at NYU Tandon School of Engineering. We were, at that time, working on limiting exposure of private information when somebody volunteers a phone as an evidence of a crime. State of the art requires a complete copy of the phone's storage. So all of a sudden, somebody who witnessed a crime has submitted the entire life history to a stranger when all they just needed to do was give them a few pictures and videos. So we developed eWitness. It's a blockchain-backed technology. It protects forensic properties of pictures and videos, making them admissible in court. This is how it works. So if somebody has the eWitness application installed, and of course they know something's going to happen, so typically they're informants, they take pictures and videos on their phones. When they're doing that, the application is saving the forensic data from the phone, including a verified location into the blockchain. Now, this, the picture or video is sufficient for an investigator to establish the truth and authenticity, provenance of the evidence. So here's how it works. The technology behind eWitness uses robust image hashes, so they tolerate normal compression, but they don't tolerate modification. We use the JP Morgan quorum chain with a time-tested Byzantine fault tolerance-based consensus algorithm. We use network verified location. eWitness is not just an app. It might seem so at this point. It can be integrated, retrofitted into any digital camera. We presented at conferences. We got funded, quarter of a million, not bad, from National Science Foundation. But something had changed in these years. The new terminology, deep fakes, had appeared. All of these pictures over here, they look terribly realistic. They are all fake, manipulated. Some of them are computer generated. As fact mixed with fiction, truth has become endangered. How am I to believe anything? These were funny before, but then they became real threats. They manipulated public opinion. They embarrassed people. Sometimes they showed them in a better light than they were. E-witness was the solution. We have been sitting on it that can make it possible to believe what we see again. E-witness has various commercial use cases, which is what we realized. It's beyond the narrow scope we originally thought. So we went on and talked to people. We realized anybody who has images and data, they want credibility. They also want to make sure they are not getting taken by the people who are sending these images to them. They need e-witness. How does e-witness make money then? It could be as simple as download our application, sign up for a subscription plan, and you have credibility. Or a customer could integrate eWitness into their own ecosystem, their own application, and give us some API licensing fee. With cloud storage, along with blockchain integration, we have a killer content management system. I know that journalists are going to be our first users because they are the ones who care most about media authentication. Reputable companies would never break a story until they have fully verified it, even though it takes them maybe two or three days, several layers of expertise to figure out if this is correct or not correct. Meanwhile, the story could be going viral, but then they would be the ones who come out and pioneer that, no, this is not true. With eWitness-enabled cameras, their workflow can be simplified. Giving eWitness out to reporters, informants, people who work for them, 
media companies can receive verified media directly from the field. And they can provide a single click verification for their audience. How cool is that? Law enforcement, I care a lot about them because I'm from a criminal justice school. They look for credibility and they also look for easier case management. Body cameras, surveillance cameras, all sorts of cameras are all around us. They are the eyes of our city. In fact, our NYPD officers, our men in blue, they use iPhones, I mean NYPD iPhones, not their own iPhones, to take crime scene photos. So talk about credibility. Integrating e-witness into all of these cameras establishes forensic properties immediately brings reliability, credibility, reduces paperwork, and implements efficient case management. So with these subscription-based and API licensing-based model, eWitness could make between two to $10 million per year from each customer segment with different types of service. But my North Star vision is to integrate eWitness into closed social messaging applications. Because we all know that's the place where misinformation comes to live and thrive. I know eWitness can help that audience because now they have a way to verify before they randomly forward that meme that they just found somewhere. Traction we have so far. We have a prototype on Google Play we have a working fork of the JP Morgan quorum chain. We are backed by a JPEG media blockchain standard. We're launching a pilot study soon. In two and a half weeks, I'm presenting at Technology Transfer Days. In three months, my pilot would give me some results. I'm seeking partnership to reach social media platforms. And I'm confident that in a, in a year and a half, I'll be able to deliver e-witness as industry standard for authenticated online media because I have a great team. I am the CEO. My board member and advisor, Nasser Memon, is the founder of Media Forensics. Kumar, he's on break, but he has 10 years of financial sector experience. He's my biz dev and finance chief. Priyanka. That's my doctoral student, very proud of her. Um, she is my R&D lead. I'll be here. If you have any questions, please visit us online. And please go on Google Play and look up our app and download it. Thank you.